In fact, just in the last two minutes, a senior Senate source told Fox News that at this point we should expect a shutdown over the weekend. Maybe it will last two or three days, and that is because Republicans don't want to give in on DACA, and neither do the Democrats. The senators first got stuck last night, just a few minutes after they got the House passed spending bill. But instead of trying to hash things out really late, they decided to go to bed. They will not be back in the upper chamber for another two hours. That's 13 hours away from the deadline. And as of right now, Mitch McConnell does not have the votes because three of his own senators plan to vote with Democrats against this temporary spending bill. It's Lindsey Graham, Rand Paul, and Jeff Flake now. The Arizona Senator Flake, who isn't getting the vote on DACA that he wanted, now says that he opposes a funding bill for a month, but he would support something much shorter that kicks the can into next week. That is something the top Democrat in the Senate, Chuck Schumer, has been pushing, a four- or five-day-long CR. And that's even though Democrats have been demanding a deal for the Dreamers in exchange for any votes. There is no promise and no likelihood that another kicking of the can down the road will get something done. We have to sit down together and solve this, with the president or without. Until that happens, no amount of CRs will get this done. If they do start making progress in the Senate and they follow their own rules about timing, there may not be a vote on this bill to fund the government until after the government runs out of money. Okay, so. now, how worried are Republican leaders about a shutdown? What are they telling you, Peter? It sounds like, Bill, they are ready to blame Democratic obstruction for any kind of a shutdown, any kind of problems later on uh, that could come tonight or into this weekend. And in fact, they are now pushing a new hashtag, Schumer Shutdown. Children's health insurance program, known as CHIP, we just extended it for six years, the longest it's ever been extended in the history of the program. But unfortunately, 186 Democrats said no to that. There was nothing in this bill that they would disagree with at any other time. But it all hinges now on the Democrats of whether this government stays open or not. The way House Republicans that I've spoken to see things, this is just another bill that they passed out of the House that is stalled in the Senate.